How you doing everyone? Welcome to a quick RL craft tutorial on how to grab yourself, let's go into F5, a bunch of decent loot like coal, free coal. You're going to need that for things like the winter and stuff like that. You can make it in campfires, cooking, you name it. Uh, these things are made for wands. You can actually make these uh, scorch fire scepters with because you're going to get blaze rods. You've got everything you need to make a million of these. You're going to get magma cream, which is good for making magma blocks uh, and all other, you know, all sorts of stuff. Obviously, potions and stuff like that. But these are a good little resource to have um, and they're quite tricky to get hold of. But don't worry, Dibs has got your back. And we're relying on uh, Lycanite's mods, mobs sorry, spawning in lava. Now this is not the most efficient farm ever, but this is kind of a really simplistic farm that actually kind of works and you don't need to interact with it. You, can, you can't get XP from it, I've tried, the lava just eats it. And there's probably other designs, of better designs you know built upon this that could probably work but this one definitely works you don't need to pull you don't need to do anything it's automatic it will do its stuff but like I say it's not the most uh, efficient farm going because you're gonna get a lot of this the salamander I know I know the name of that one uh, the salamander lizard thing it looks like a gecko or something um, it they will just bob there for a while and then eventually they will get in they will get pushed into the water uh, when they get a little bit agitated. So you're going to get three types of mobs. You're going to get the Aphrits, uh, which are little black bat things right on cue. They drop uh, the fire, the flame stuff, and coal. So they're the guys that are going to give you coal. And this, the salamanders and the fishy things will give you the fish meat, um, which is already cooked. And you will get these from the salamanders and the other there's a little like a uh, snake thing I can't pronounce the name but yeah that's pretty much the farm so let me teach you guys how to build this but before I do get started with this let me just say the hardest part about this is going going to get or well, the da most dangerous part is going to get the lava you're gonna need a, a, a a fair decent amount of iron so you might want this is not like super early game but you'll be able to get it when you get a decent amount of iron behind you uh, because you do need uh, hoppers now you can have more hoppers than this which will probably make the make the um, loot make it a bit more efficient but I'm, I'm just going to go I'm gonna do the bare minimum here um, in fact you could probably even save more more um resources by making this a little water trench into another hopper but that will just you know it will just make the the farm bigger but um when you're building this guys you need to know exactly how many stories you want to make this this is a two sto this is a two tier so this has been basically this has just been mimicked on on top here you need to know how high you want to go and each one of these uh, each one of these little containers with all the uh, salamanders in uh, you're gonna need uh, 24 buckets of lava per per layer okay if you make this any thinner you're not gonna get the mobs that you want you're not gonna get the magma cream and the blaze rods so just bear that in mind if you make this say one wide you are you're all you're gonna get is that you're just going to get that with one wide because only the bats can or the aphrids, aphrids can spawn. So yeah, bear that in mind. So 24 lava per go. So you're going to need 24 buckets. Uh, you could probably take your time and grind it out with one bucket. And keep coming back 24 times. But personally, I would make 24 buckets. And yeah, it's going to come in handy. Now, they're very noisy. Let me just come back a bit. So... My pro tip for you guys, quickly, before we start building this, also, I'll, I'll put a timestamp so you can go ahead and just start building it regardless, but I would highly recommend you put the lava in last and do this trick, okay? So imagine this is your tre trench, uh, I know it's only 3x3 three three and not 8x3, um, but just imagine the principle still stands. Where the hoppers are, right, you need, and basically here and here, but in line with the hoppers. So you see where the lava's dripping either side. So you want to do a three by eight. So roughly to about here. 
uh, you want to make sure that you put dispensers down with your lava buckets. Now the reason for this is if you're playing in survival you don't want to be attacked by salamanders and stuff so build the farm so basically do all of your layers the best you can. Personally I would work top to bottom so you go from the top and work your way down when it comes to the lava and you want to do this so you get all your dispensers fill it with a bucket of lava and then you want to grab yourself a redstone block and you just do this now the aim for this is to get a complete solid pool of lava with no flowing blocks these are all source blocks and by doing that trick that's the way you're going to do it and what I would do afterwards is I would focus on um, breaking these blocks so break it and replace like so and this will give you an idea of what I meant just a minute ago and then it, let's say you know your hoppers would be uh, you know uh, sorry your, your chest would be say there and then actually we could actually put that down so you can see it and then you would do something like this break and replace real quick so I would put hoppers in my off hand and a pickaxe in my main hand and then you'll get something like that and but make sure that you do that top to bottom not bottom from top to top because just saying you're gonna make life a lot harder on yourself so you go from top to bottom okay right tutorial time okay to start with you're gonna need to have a 8 long by 3 wide that's your 24 blocks right there that's where the lava is pretty much gonna go and then you're going to literally we're gonna bring this round just to make it look a little bit more tidy and we're going to stop at the end now I might fluff this up a little bit guys so just bear with me because it's been a few days since I built this and then we can probably build upwards so you can just make a wall and we're just going to leave the other end open for now because we will see um, when we get you'll see in a second right so like I said before you can have more hoppers if you wish um, I will do the water trench at the end just in case you don't have the iron to spare but you're going to need to make life easier you're going to need to make 24 block buckets worth anyway so you're going to have to have a fair amount of iron to start with that's the only trouble it's a little bit iron hungry to begin with but what you want to do is grab, uh, take out the middle section here and then you're going to just spam eight hoppers into that and then one more on the outside and then you're going to go up so you're going to go that hopper into that one and then we're going to do two other hoppers into that middle one and then that will literally make our little trench. Now because I'm in creative I'm gonna put the lava in now but I can't stress enough do the lava last in fact I'll do the lava last lava lava last and then we yeah so we're gonna literally go uh, just gonna make an L shape like this for now just to make it a little bit more flush and what we're now gonna do is we are going to use glass you can use any type of glass if I can find it uh, I'm just going to use white for now because I like white glass it's really cool actually you want to put a block there as well don't forget that because otherwise lava will go everywhere and we're going to place a ring of glass on top of that and the ring of glass will have to come out one just so it can catch all the liquids in fact we're actually going now I've now I see it we're going to literally block all of this off like so just for show looking good looking good fairly it's a really it's a, it's an easy concept farm um, but like I say you could probably tweak it and make it more efficient once you know that how the mobs behave I mean this worked for me and that I'm happy with that actually we're going to do the lava last right okay so after you've done that layer of glass you're going to need to grab yourself some signs a bunch of them uh, if I can find them wrong wrong section and we're just going to spam eight one two three four five six seven eight okay I'm going to do that again and you're going to need to do that on all three panes of glass so eight eight 
You'll see what I said. You're gonna see what I'm I'm on about in a sec. Okay, so you've put your signs down. You're gonna need to make one more ring of glass. You can use any block that you want, but glass is gonna enable you to see what's going on in there. So you do not require to make it dark at any point. These guys will. I put on peaceful, by the way, so salamanders won't uh, spawn. You get these little snake wormy things. And then what you want to do is you want to grab your water, make an infinite water source. So water here, water here, and that will flow all the way to the end if you've done it correctly. And then you want to put water here and water here. Now, I'm going to do two layers, so we'll get to that in a second. And then all you got to do is just plonk a roof on top. I'm going to quickly do that now. There you go. Actually, I'm going to put the... Uh, I should have put the lava in. <laughs> should have put the lava in first. So ignore me. I'm just trying to do it as if you guys would. But if you guys were doing this in survival, you would be totally correct in putting the water down like I just did. And then um, you would do the dispenser trick over there and start, get, and start replacing the bottom here. Like so, okay? So just bear that in mind. Um, I'm not going to go and place the... Uh, dispensers now I'm literally gonna pop this open and put some lava down assuming you're using the dispenser trick so yeah the tricky part is making sure you place the lava in, it, in the right order I guess because survival it could be a lot tricky it's gonna be extremely tricky to make this farm work so yeah let me just uh, sort the lava out so like me if you didn't forget the <laughs> if you didn't forget the lava then you're pretty much done guys you're pretty much done if you want to do one layer if you're if you want to do one layer and you're not too fussed about how many drops you're gonna get then you are you guys are done so if you so you you know just don't forget to show the the, the video some love and give it a like if it works for you uh, like I say the lava is the trickiest thing but if you work, if you put your dispensers down first, which is going to take a lot of string as well, it's going to be a lot easier uh, with you know using the redstone block trick as well. And you're going to get, you're not going to get your face, you know, melted. So you're going to be absolutely golden. So if you're, you know, like I say, if you're just doing one layer, you're you're done. But the more layers that you do the better you can make this as wide as you want but again you're gonna need all the lava that you can get your hands on so that's the that's the hardest part the bigger this farm is the more lava you're gonna need because you need source blocks but if you're doing one one compartment here you're done but for those that want to actually do more uh, you know stack them up like I have done here this is, I've only just done two you can go as high as you want um, pretty much but it get a little bit tedious is what you want to do is punch out these three here and above every water source block of the water at the end you're going to need to put some signs like you would you know when it ca you remember the old-fashioned um, the old-fashioned skelly farms and zombie farms yeah it's kind of the same kind of idea there and then what you want to do is we will put another ring of solid block and we're literally just going to mimic what we've just done. Now, I can't stress this enough. If you're doing two layers, I'm going to keep... I'm repeating myself because I can see people going, Dibs, this is extremely hard to build in survival because I'm getting my face chewed off. Do the top first with a dispenser trick and then work your way down. You can still build it and peek it. You can probably still peek in and get the roofs with your blocks. Uh, your redstone blocks if you know just take a little bit of time and kind of peek in and then put your liquids last you you'll work it out but all I can say is if, if you can do two layers I can't keep saying it enough you got you know more more than one layer you, you make sure you do the lava last because this is gonna be a world of hurt for you right so then what we want to do is put a Again, because we are doing a second layer above every water water sources or water water trench at the end, you got to make sure you put signs. This is going to prevent the lava from flowing. This is the only difference, I guess. So again, you're going to do your dispenser trick, but you would have done this layer first. And it, I, I'm pretty sure I said at the beginning of this tutorial, make sure you know how many layers you roughly want to do. Okay, and then 
you know, you put all your liquids in last and your golden. So we're going to now literally do exactly what we've done there. Um, let me quickly grab, because I want to try and keep this as short as possible, but my tutorials are never short. <laughs> I try and make my, I try and make them make sense if that makes sense, and I'm all up for answering questions if I can. Uh, if you got suggestions on a, you know, you've built this more efficiently, I'm all for that. But this is just like something I've built in on my private server uh, because we need magma, magma, magma blocks, and the way of doing that is uh, magma creams. Uh, you can put four magma creams together and the recipe will give you a magma block because who wants to go in the nether, right? Ugh, no, not in this pack. This pack is evil when it comes to the nether. Well, this pack's evil anyway, but the nether is just worse. So, as you can see, I'm just literally doing the same as I did before. And then you're going to do another ring. So, I'm just going to finish this off. All you got to do now is do another ring of glass. Like so. Okay, beautiful. And then we just put the uh, water there. Done. And the reason you put the water at the end is so that it encourages, like this, it encourages the salamanders. So like when they get their head stuck in, they can then start bobbing and floating. It just, it just helps. Um, you could it could probably still work, but not as great without the the water at the end. But I find that with the water at the end, it will actually work beautifully. And then you just want to cap it off when you're done. And if you're in survival, this is where you start putting your liquids in before you start capping off. So yeah, but because I'm in creative, uh, it's it's just easy as I go. And that's you done, guys. You can go up as high as you want. That is your um, salamander, afrit, and the other one I can't pronounce. Farm done. If you make these compartments any higher, you will get different mobs um, spawning, and they pretty much drop the same. So there's no point. You might as well just go for, you know, go for this. So that's cool. There you go, guys. Hopefully this has helped you get your coal situation. Coal's pretty useful. Uh, because you, if you in RL craft, if you go digging for it, then you're just going to get yourself in a little bit of a pickle because you get those things that spawn on you. Um, magma cream's just quite tricky to get hold of because you're going to need slime and blaze rods. But I've I've got your back. You can even use blaze rods for fuel if you want. But yeah. Anyways, like I say, it's not the most efficient farm. Sorry if I'm waffling on, but you get the idea. It is pretty basic and it worked for me i've got it built in survival and yeah it works a treat the only difficult like i said the the hardest part is doing the death gauntlet gonna get your buckets and then grabbing all the lava you can get your hands on and doing a runner before things start spawning that's probably the hardest bit um in my opinion this is an easy farm and as you can see it's working a treat nice right I was about to log out for this tutorial and I totally forgot that I said to you guys I was going to make it so that we could save iron and I've managed to get it down to three hoppers guys so you, all you got to do is go to the bottom uh, obviously don't bother putting hoppers if you're going to go down that route if you're still watching to this end you probably placed them already but you want to make sure that where the, the hoppers were going upwards so the hoppers were going upwards here you want to punch the hop see where the signs are let's get rid of these blocks see where the signs are that's where the hoppers were going up and there was a thin layer going down here so you want to uh, the top the top hoppers nearest to the water you wanted to uh, replace them with signs if you've already placed them if you haven't well done for watching the whole tutorial but um, yeah and then you place signs there in line with the lava there at the bottom uh, make sure that you you be careful because I personally didn't do it fast enough and I got obsidian on this line here but that's an easy fix you can just uh, poke this glass out for example and get rid of the obsidian and place it with three more blocks of lava but that just means you're getting more lava so it, this is cheaper uh, I, I wish I kind of mentioned this earlier but it's here nonetheless I've got I've got the solution here it was kind of an after afterthought so yeah um 
it, it works a treat. So we just put a water source there, an infinite water source, and then we block it off. Oh, and that should give us... Will you not work? Will you not work? And then all the items will then fall straight down into the pit. And you've saved some iron. This is literally just to save iron. So yeah, there you go. There's there's one way to do it. So you can just you just bring this this down a little bit more. You can see the difference. So you just get rid of all this. And at the end here, you can see where the lava. See those those hoppers there. That's where you put the signs. You put the signs there as fast as you can. So you go and kind of go like this. But then I've already got obsidian. See. It's really tricky, so you kind of want to do this to begin with. So, yeah, that will just mess you up a little bit. But anyways, guys, that's it, literally, for me. Hopefully this helped. Sorry about the uh, the bottom bit, you know, to save save resources. It came a little bit late. But uh, I'll see if I can edit in, in earlier, but we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps. See you next time.